Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting algebraic challenging equation which is nonic in nature. x power 6 plus 1 over x cube equal to 1 over x square plus x power 5. So we have to find out overall 9 solutions. I will demonstrate two methods. Method number 1 that is using algebra. Method number 2 using complex numbers. So let me write here method number 1 and I will begin with domain of the equation as usual so this cannot be 0 x cannot be equal to 0 now i will consider x power 5 to the left and 1 over x cube to the right so equation will reframed as x power 6 minus x power 5 equal to 1 over x square minus 1 over x cube Take common and LCM also. So left hand side we will take x power 5 common. In bracket I will write x minus 1. In RHS I will take first LCM. So it will give us x cube minus x square over x power 5. Now I can see x square is common in the numerator. So I will write x square in bracket x minus 1 over x power 5. Now I can cancel x square with x power 5 by writing over there x cube. Now you can see x minus 1 is there, x minus 1 is there. Let's write all the term in the LHS only. So it will give us x power 5 times x minus 1 minus x minus 1 over x cube equal to 0. Now x minus 1 is common. So x minus 1 I will take common out. In bracket, I will write x power 5 minus 1 over x cube. Done. Equal to 0. So from here, we can conclude two equations. x minus 1 will be 0. And then we will write this bracket equal to 0. So I will frame two equations. Let me write x minus 1 equal to 0. Conclusion is x is equal to 1. This is our first real solution. Now come to the second equation x power 5 minus 1 over x power 3 or x cube equal to 0. Because of x cannot be 0. So I can multiply this equation with x cube. So x power 8 minus 1 equal to 0. In other language, in other words, I can write x power 8 is equal to 1. Now there are two approaches for this equation to solve. First one using algebra and algebraic identities and second method is using complex number. So let me use the method number one algebraic identities first. So let me write here algebraic identities and algebra x power 8 minus 1 equal to 0. We can write x power 8 as x power 4 whole square minus 1 whole square equal to 0. a square minus b square a plus b so x power 4 plus 1 a minus b so x power 4 minus 1 equal to 0. First we will take up this equation x power 4 minus 1 equal to 0. So I can write x square whole square minus 1 whole square remaining terms as it is. Now a square minus b square. So a plus b, a minus b. So x square minus 1. So what is overall picture? x power 4 plus 1. Second bracket I will write x square plus 1 and x square minus 1 equal to 0. Now we have got three factors. Simply we have to find out solutions. Let me write x power 4, x power 4 plus 1 times x square plus 1 times x square minus 1 equal to 0. So let me consider x power 4 plus 1 first. I will write x power 4 plus 2x square. This is manipulation plus 1 and then minus 2x square. 
So you can see first three term will give you one perfect square which is x square plus one whole square. You can check x square whole square x power 4 one whole square is 1 2 a b so 2 x square and second time we can consider it is root 2 x whole square. Again difference of two squares formula is on. So I can write x square plus root 2 x plus 1 and then I will write x square minus root 2 x plus 1 a plus b a minus b a is x square plus 1 equal to 0 and see the second bracket it is let me write here x square plus 1 equal to 0 x square is equal to minus 1 or i square also take a square root both sides so i will write x is equal to plus minus i two imaginary solutions from third bracket the third bracket x square minus 1 equal to let me write here you can apply again difference of two squares or you can write x square is equal to 1 take a square root both sides so x we will write plus minus 1 now come to these two quadratic equations again i will apply quadratic formula directly see how it is it is plus root 2 and minus root 2. So I can club both or you can apply direct formula. Minus b. If it is plus root 2x for first bracket, then I will change its sign. So I will write minus root 2. Okay. Minus b. Done. And for second bracket, it should be plus. Plus minus under the root b square. So root 2 square is 2. Minus 4ac minus 4 and denominator I will write 2a so 2. So ultimately I am going to sum, in simplify and this bracket I will write it is i root 2 divided by 2. So four complex solutions I will write let's divide so I will write minus plus 1 plus minus i overall denominator is root 2. So four complex solutions are here using algebraic identities. Two complex solutions are here using algebraic identities and see here we are having two real solutions. Eight solutions are right now and x is equal to one that we calculated the very first bracket. So overall nine solutions are there. These means six solutions are complex and three are real plus 1 having mono city twice, two times. Now let us consider complex numbers. So we will consider, see x minus 1 it was and then equal to 0. So first solution is undoubtedly it is x is equal to 1. Now come to the second equation is straight away x power 8 equal to 1. Now I will write this equation in the form of Euler's number, Euler's identity. So I can write this one as e raised to the power i 2 pi for principal solution. Okay. Let me write here x power 8 is equal to e raised to the power i 2 pi. Once I am finding general solution, I need to add 2k pi where k belongs to integer. And I have to write over there 0 to 7. Okay, now let us consider 2 pi common out. So x power 8, it will be equal to e raised to the power i 2 pi in bracket k plus 1. Now raise both sides, 8th root. So I will write x is equal to e raised to the power i 2 pi over 8 times k plus 1. Whole power 1 over 8. So 8 and 1 over 8 will be over. Right hand side you can see it is converting into x is equal to e raised to the power i pi by 4 times k plus 1. Now only need to put k equal to 0, 1, 2 up to 7. We will get our answer. Okay. Now I will show you one unit circle also. If 
if i am calculating x0 then i need to put over there k equal to 0 so it will give us i pi over 4 k equal to 1 i will write i 2 pi over 4 or let me write pi over 4 times 2 it is in the numerator x2 is equal to e raised to the power i 3 pi over 4 x3 is equal to e raised to the power i pi over 4 let me write here 4 times pi over 4 and so on up to last term you will write over there k equal to 7 then it will become 8 pi over 4 so where it will lie see this is k equal to 0 this value so it is 1 by root 2 with phase theta is equal to pi by 4 let me use this 1 by root 2 and 1 by root 2 this point is 1 comma 0 this point is minus 1 comma 0 this is plus i or in coordinate you i will write 0 comma i and 0 comma minus i so you can see this is phase pi over 4 then pi over 2 so i am getting this value i then it is 3 pi over 4 so obviously as per coordinates i will write minus 1 over root 2 and 1 over root 2 here i will write the coordinate this i will write minus 1 over root 2 and minus 1 over root 2 see it is matching with our answers and this point is 1 over root 2 with positive sign and minus 1 over root 2 so four solutions which were complex in nature that was plus minus 1 plus minus i over root 2 these solutions are you can easily see this one this one this one and this one and remaining this is plus minus 1 these two square brackets rectangular brackets and see these circular brackets plus minus i over all eight solutions if i will write x is equal to plus minus 1 plus minus i and plus minus 1 plus minus i over root 2 comma it is okay so you can see 2 plus 2 plus 4 eight solutions and that one extra at the beginning so overall nine solutions are there